Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Sunland Park here on Sunday. It is April the 16th, 2017. Gonna look at race number nine from Sunland, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Today's ninth race from Sunland is the 58th running of the Sunland Park Handicap. Purse $150,000, it's for three year olds and upwards. We have a field of 10 horses tackling dis the distance of ground of 1,800 meters, nine furlongs, or one mile and one eighth on the dirt course. Mile and the eighth. My top pick in this one, um, I like the 10 horse, number 10, neck and neck. I'm going to go 10, 3, 1, 5 in the Superfecta, 10, 3, 1, 5. But my top pick, number 10, neck and neck, 5 to 1. Uh, Juarez is on the Steve Asmussen trained 8-year-old horse out of Flower Alley. I think Flower Alley's big fame, the uh, fame of his lifetime was winning, I believe, the... The one it was called Lane's End Spiral at Turfway in 2005, the last running on the uh, dirt course there. But um, this horse should really do well. Most recently on the first of April at Oakland, mile 16th, an optional 60 claimer. This horse finished third by four and a half lengths, and these allowance optional claimers at, at um, Oakland this year were so so tough. This horse really couldn't keep up with them. You know, it just wasn't his day to win. He's actually stepping down in class to this spot today. Actually, start before March 10th at Oakland, one mile an optional 50 claimer. This horse finished second by five lengths. You know, it was his first start off the layoff. He needed the race. wasn't catching the winner inside straight. It was also his first start with Steve Aspin as his trainer. Start before, previously trained by Ian Wilkes, came on June the 11th at Belmont Park, mile and a half in the Brooklyn Handicap, the Grade 2 Brooklyn Handicap. This horse finished 8th by 7 quarter lengths that day behind Shaman Ghost, who later went on to win the, uh, uh, what do you call that race? Um, uh, can't remember now. Uh, I, I believe he went on to win the... Um, the the, uh, the the San Anita handicap at the race at Saratoga can't think of it at the top of my head at the moment, but um, you know he's a very good horse. This horse just really can keep up with them going the mile and a half distance. He finished third in the flat out stakes going a mile three eighths at uh, Belmont. He finished fifth in the Ben Alley, second in the Challenger. His last win came in in, in the Greenwood Cup at uh, Parks, mile and a half in September 2015. He won by half length, just off the pace that day. Got the lead, took off clear. This spot facing lesser quality horses, he should have a very good run. So I'll use him as a top pick. So to recount my bets for race. Number nine from Sunland. It's the 58th Sunland Park handicap. Going to go with the 10 horse. Going to go 10 3 1 5 in the Superfecta. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everyone.